Welcome to 3 Minutes Fix. In this video, we will see how to install DoMovie app. This video covers on Android installation part. So, let's get started. Before we proceed, in previous session, I have shown a fix for Google error on visiting your admin panel. Now, I got the answer from Google. They have removed the warning and site is running perfectly. So, if you're facing this issue, just go to the part one of this video and get your solution now. Now, open your Android source folder. Copy the JSON file we downloaded from Firebase dashboard. Now, paste it in this location. Copy its location to the clipboard. Now, start the Android Studio. Press the Open Project button. Now paste your location. Now choose the project and press open button. For this project, it's recommended to use latest version of Android Studio. Currently, it's Flamingo version. While it's building, we will add the project name to the Gradle file. Remember to use same name that you have used in JSON file. Now, we will rename the package folder. Now choose Do Folder and right-click on it. Now choose Refractor menu and choose Rename option from it. This will prompt a pop-up box. You have to type your package second name here. I have noticed that Do Folder is split into two half. All you have to do is follow the same steps to rename the folder to merge it together. Now same way, do this for the third folder. After that, we have done with renaming package. After that you can do the other basic changes. We will tweak few things in our splash.xml file. Since this is review guide I am not teaching it deeply. Next, few people has requested me regarding movie details banner is in blur form. We will see how to fix that. I have added the snippet that is taken from Stack Overflow in the description of this video. Just copy paste carefully and you will get the image in full quality. This build config error I have told several time on how to fix. But still, just build your project you will see the build config folder automatically generated. After your project generated the folder, you will have to import the class in inappupdate.java, movies.java, webseries.java and finally in splash.java classes. Before we build we will fix this class import and build the project.
we will fix our final error. Then, we will build the project to generate the build config folder. So, here our build config folder is generated successfully. Now, we will import them into their respective project files manually. If you still don't get the folder, then you need to add this code snippet into your Gradle file to get your build config generated. If you want build config should be same as your package name, then you need to change your namespace in Gradle folder. Our app launched successfully. We will see all feature one by one. Now terms and conscience can be viewed without login. So users cannot say that they don't know what is our terms. This is a fair play. If you see the text in black, I would suggest you to go to the activity terms and condition.xml page and change the text color to white. Your terms page can be viewed individually. Thus if Google asks you to give your app terms and policies, just get the WebView link and paste it in Play Store Console. After many people request, developer has added the notification for downloads to do app. This also support background video downloading. So your download won't get paused or quit when you leave your app in background. Next is in-app update bug fixed. To make the update, first you need to change your current version to higher version like from 1 to 2. After changing build and upload the APK in a fast server. I am using Firebase. But I recommend you to upload a new project that does not contain your JSON file. So this will not affect your project. Here in the what's new section, it's recommended to add your changes in a single line separate by comma. Now, here is your release. So let's see how it works. Previously, in-app update description will not show correctly. Now it got fixed I guess. Also in-app update, in admin panel which cannot be edited before and now it got fixed.
many people has requested developer to add the exit warning pop-up and here it is in the movie app. Previously, episode fetch does not work correctly. If there is 20 episode, it will only import partially. This update has fixed that issue. Finally Google Drive, download and stream issue has fixed successfully. Google Drive video is playing very well. But I don't recommend you to use this raw Google Drive as your primary source. I was not able to see download option for series. So I leave to you to tell me whether download is working with drive as download source or not. But on other hand, download source for Google Drive is working very well for movies. This update also added permission for Android 13 operating system. My device is Android 12 and it's working well. Let me know in comments if it fixed for you or not. And I guess I have covered all the major issue and their fixes in this update. Thank you Samak for watching.